Let's see who we can get on on a Saturday afternoon. Let's see if I eat it live on camera. A lot of rocks, a lot of rocks. Pebbles are no good. Who's gonna join me Saturday? Let's see who pops on. Who's got their notifications on? So they know when I go live. No one yet. Hopefully the signal's strong here. Must be all busy on Saturday. No one is popping on yet. And from the looks of those clouds, I don't know how much time I'm going to have to talk about Leisureville. Yeah, it's so hard to see on the screen. I may not have the best signal, I don't know. Hi right, guys, well, eventually someone's gonna pop on. Maybe not. I'm in Leisureville, Palm Beach, uh, in Boynton Beach, Florida. There's two Leisurevilles. Leisureville, Boynton Beach, Leisureville, Palm Beach. I'm in the Palm Beach side. And this is a 55 and older community that I've, uh, I've did a video here, but I thought I'd get up here. I had to come up and pick something up at the store. So I was close by and I thought I'd get on my skateboard and kind of ride through here. Um, this is a nice community to get into with the 55 and older lifestyle. It's been around here for a while. A lot of these homes were built in 1972 and you can see they're all white except for the window trim. And that's because they'll let you paint your window trim a different color. But everything else has to be uniform like that. So these, a lot of these are two bedroom, one bath, two bedroom, two bath. There are some three twos. Um, currently, I was just looking at some info before I hopped on. And like a two bedroom, two bath on the market that's somewhat updated. Yes, I'm on my skateboard, by the way. So if I eat it, y'all can see it live. Um, was uh, about $380,000. Um, that's kind of what they're going for. 
and uh, there's a lot of bumps on the sidewalk. I swear I'm gonna bust my butt live on YouTube. That'll make for some ratings. Wife won't like it. But um, it's a cool little community and it's very active. You know, they don't have a fancy clubhouse, but they do have a clubhouse. And they got shuffleboard, they got some swimming pools, they got a card room. They actually, I think they have a stage where they do plays and stuff. Um, HOA is really inexpensive. It's like 152 and I think that varies depending on where you look and what section. But um, and some have a garage, some don't. All these you see have a garage. A lot of them have a carport. Uh, some of them have their carports converted. So, by the way, you ought to see the looks I'm getting from some of these people riding my skateboard. You would think I was like a 17-year-old punk. I'm old enough to live here, folks. Not that I want to. I have a teenager. He'd be bored out of his mind. I'd never do that, but I could buy in here. So, but it's a nice place. Sold a few units here. Showed a lot. Sorry for the shakiness. <laughs> I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna take the board back to the car. So, you can see there's some rain coming. But, um, this place is pretty cool. If you're looking to retire, you know, or buy a winter place and you're in a 55 and older community, this is a nice one. It's dog friendly. This is someone up here walking their dog. I saw another lady with a big dog. Um, and you see a lot of them are kind of closed up. Snowbirds haven't got here yet. But, uh, pretty big too like it's a big community now some of the homes are on the water those are really nice some of them have the canal behind them and uh, even some have boat docks which I was surprised I'm pretty sure those are grandfathered in and you probably couldn't do that again uh, right, I'm, gonna put, I'm gonna put this up and I'm gonna walk it's fun riding the board, but a little bumpy. So give me a second here while I set this down. Oops. warm today warm warm hot uh oh all right guys i did it again hold on a second i messed with the stupid microphone give me one second let me fix this dumb thing The slightest pressure see this when I pull that if you guys can see that cord that's for the mic it's probably why you couldn't hear me that's for the mic and when I pull that it pulls the phone down so wow all right hey there's six of you guys on all right I can't see it's so bright I can't see any of y'all but hello to everyone who's watching if you just started, I'm in Leisureville, Palm Beach. It's located in Boynton Beach, but they call it Leisureville, Palm Beach because there's two sides. There's another side called Leisure, Leisureville, Boynton Beach. And this is a 55 and older community. Now I am going to try to bring you guys more 55 and older communities because I'm 56 and a lot of my viewers are in this demographic. So now don't worry, those under 55, I'll still show other neighborhoods throughout South Florida. I'm not just going to focus on retirement stuff. But uh, a lot of these are winter homes anyway. I joke when I say retirement, but uh, this place. So you can see they got shuffleboard and um, 
So that's obviously the big thing. That used to be the big thing. Now it's pickleball. Every place has pickleball. And uh, here's a swimming pool. We're not going to go put the camera on the people because I don't need to get yelled at. I don't want people to be upset. But they have a swimming pool. They have a clubhouse. And uh, let me go back here real quick. Make sure I lock my car. Anyway, this place, like I said, homes, two bedroom, two bath. You're looking in the mid 300s. The ones I saw were like 380. There's some for 360. A couple in the 380,000 range. And uh, you're close to I 95. Just off of I 95 and Boynton Beach Boulevard. And um, there's a Publix not too far from here, and there's a, just down the road. Home Depot, Lowe's, Cracker Barrel, and you're close to I-95, and you're close to the beaches, so you're not too far away from the beaches. See, here's some more of the clubhouse area. We'll go up here. Hi, puppy. See, it's dog friendly, which a lot of 55 and older places aren't. Well, the homes are, but condos aren't so much. Hey. I know that guy. I don't think they have pickleball here. And if they do, I haven't seen it. This is their, that's a, looks like a grill, hangout. So this is pretty much East Boynton for those that don't know. I-95, I can hear it. So this is considered East, almost East Boynton. Might be considered West if you say anything on the other side of I-95, but you're, you're getting into the east part of Boynton Beach. I would say five miles from where I was doing that video the other day. All right, there's a little shade. Uh, it's damn nice, actually. Do they charge a lot rental? Um, it's not a trailer park. Um, they're just uh, older homes built in the 70s. So uh, most of them are I think most of them are CBS block. So CBS construction, concrete block stucco. Um, rents, I'd have to check. I know they rent in here and um, I'm not sure what the rental policy is. Like if you buy one, how quickly you can rent it. There might be a two year wait or a one year wait, but obviously there are investment properties that are owned in here and that you can rent. Um, I, I, you know, I haven't looked at rentals in such a long time in this area. I, I couldn't tell you what they're going for around here. Um, I'm gonna imagine you know, 2000 a month or more for a two bedroom. I mean, they're probably getting top dollar for their rentals now in this area. But uh, as you can see, they got lots of sidewalks for walking and <laughs> skateboarding like I was. This guy's biking coming up here. And um, the water properties, I think I can get them, I'm trying to remember. I think it's down this road from when I did a video like four years ago. Hopefully the signal is coming in okay for y'all here. Boynton Beach can be picked really, yeah, there it is. Boynton Beach can be a little difficult for me for my cell service. Actually, you guys watch a video that I did about this neighborhood, 55 plus community. Um, you'll see me, I ride my bike <laughs> right off that bridge um, coming down this way. So I did a tour here. So I put a post up in the community page. Those of y'all that may or may not know, there's a community page where I can do posts on YouTube. And I asked you guys, do you want me to do doom and gloom? Probably wasn't the best question to ask. I didn't really mean doom and gloom. I just meant, do you guys want me to talk about the current housing market and what's going on? I mean, I try to show you South Florida and I've kind of sh stayed away from all the Sky is falling, the sky is falling. I think most people get a lot of that news daily, but the news isn't always accurate. And uh, South Florida is a different different market from the rest of the country. 
quite honestly, um, will probably be the last, from the data that I've heard, the last to fill any kind of market crash. So, homes are still selling pretty strong here. Uh, I was working with some buyers the other day, and, uh, hold on a second, one second, I gotta turn off my phone. I was working with some buyers the other day, and we tried to put an offer in, and they had three cash offers and one over asking, and, uh, we didn't want to play that game, so we, unfortunately, we didn't put an offer. So, people are still getting pretty good prices for their homes. In July, sellers are getting 98.2% of asking price here in South Florida. Look at this, guys. This is actually where I'd... This would be perfect for me and my wife. I mean, minus the kid. 2-2 two -two villa, little backyard for the dog, boat dock, and a boat, and I could go fishing all up and down these canals. I'd be happy, happy, happy. Matter of fact, it's probably something I'll look forward to at one point. But look how pretty this is. You got this canal that runs all the way through and it goes up and hits a bigger area up there. Um, these homes are probably getting close to four, which I know is crazy from what they used to get. I'd have to check for one on the water. So, so, this place is pretty cool. But yeah, so, you know, I talked about doing, trying to deliver more positive are always talking about delivering. I'm always trying to show like what it's like to live here, but I didn't really go into all the stuff that's been going on. But a good friend of mine and another fellow YouTuber both said, hey, give people the market data if that's what they want, you know, and talk about it. So I'm gonna to try to be delivering a little bit more market updates for you guys with what's actually going on. So like I said, sellers are getting 98.2% of asking price. The average day on market is about 14 days. Homes have come down in price. Some sellers with good agents are realizing that you need to bring your price down to, you know, a, a more marketable number. You can't sell your house for what your neighbor did six months ago. It's just not happening. I mean, unless you got a spectacular home and everybody wants it. Kind of like the one my buyers wanted to get the other day. It was a spectacular home and everyone wanted it and they got full price and uh, over asking in cash. So... You can't ask for much more than that, I guess, when you're a seller. But um, but people are writing offers with contingencies for finance and appraisal, uh, making uh, asking for repairs. I just negotiated one for my my guy, my investor. We we were able to get a significant drop after the inspection. So uh, we uh, yeah, you know, he just said, hey, it needs work, and I want a price drop, and we got it. So. You know, we're starting to see a little bit of that. That wouldn't have happened six months ago, but it's starting to happen now. And uh, the market has slowed. The number of people, there's more inventory. It's about 80% more homes on the market than there were this time last year. Uh, those are July numbers. But I spoke to someone on LinkedIn the other day. He was thinking about moving here. He moved to Corpus Christi instead, Texas. And he said homes are being dumped on the market. Like people are just dropping homes off left and right and you know trying to sell them we're not seeing that here right now i do not see any sellers that are in a crisis mode desperate to sell their house here in south florida i think people are getting good offers they might not be getting the offer like i said the neighbor got but they're still getting good offers for their homes so like i said florida is probably gonna be the last place we'll see where the market kind of softens but um, I'll just walk down this way. See, as I said, it's a dog-friendly neighborhood. Big dog, too, which is good. I got two big dogs. Lots of palm trees. All the white the paint. It's funny. It's just all pretty much neutral, right? But you had a little touch of color, like a blue door like they did. It's really nice. Actually, the breeze over here is nice too. We're getting that easterly breeze. That is a nice house with the. I like that one with all the fish. Nice pop of color they added to it.
but uh, I've seen it slow down a little, as I said. Let me turn this around for a second. So, hey guys. So, I have seen the market, on, for me, I've seen it slow. I've had buyers back off, put the brakes on. Um, I did a lot of listings this summer, which was great. Not as many, worked with as many buyers, and a lot of my buyers are kind of sitting and waiting right now to see what's going to happen with the prices, with the interest rate, the market in general. You know, can't blame them. Um, I know originally, earlier this year, Fannie Mae, Freddie, and the National Association of Realtors said that home prices, values would, I think they were talking going up 7 seven eight percent and then they quickly changed to like 17 percent i'm not sure if they still think that's going to happen um but you know like i said florida's florida's definitely still pretty strong in the market with uh, properties being sold and selling pretty quickly um, but i am seeing 30 days on some properties i did see one today for 111 days but they had you know no appraisal contingency and uh, I think it was up in the $600,000 price range. And 111 days is pretty telling that they need to do something different because that's not cutting it. Homes, you know, are selling, you know, long, maybe 20 days. But most homes are still selling pretty quick here. So let me turn this back around. You guys got any questions? Anyone else got questions that they want to ask here on a Saturday while I'm walking around? Somewhat comfortable in this windy, hot day. I do have some numbers for Boynton Beach for y'all. Give you some stats of what's going on as of recently. So in Boynton Beach, for July, these are July numbers. The number of closed sales was down 35% from last year. And the median sales price was up from 435 to 500,000. But the average sales price was 510,000 in 2021 and up to 608,000 in 2022 so the average sales price in boynton beach was 608,000, which that's expensive I mean, boynton beach used to be the place that told people to go for a good deal because delray and boca were expensive so i can only imagine what the prices are down i think i looked in delray i think it was a million dollars was the average price um when i was looking at single family homes and these are single family home prices i'm talking and the percentage of list price that sellers were getting Last year was 100.4%, and this year, at this time, July, was 97.9%. So you can see it's come down a little bit. People are starting to have to lower those prices to get the home sold. And that's good. I mean, I'd like it to level out and be a, a level market for people at some point. Let's see. Got some comments here. How much are the homes in those areas? Where is the best place to raise a young family? Well, best place to raise a young family, those are going to be things that you'll have to kind of decide for yourself. I mean, you know, there's a lot of factors that go into that. Things that, you know, schools and stuff, whatever's important to you, you'd have to look, find out what schools or, you know, daycare, stuff like that. But this particular area is 55 and older that I'm walking through, so you couldn't live here with a family. It is a 55 and older community, so more of a retirement community. And homes in here are going for like 360000 for on the low side that I saw right now on the market. And I saw one for like 380000 That was a two-bedroom, two-bath. So, and the prices probably are more expensive over by the water where I just was. But uh, there's a lot of great places in South Florida. Um... If you're interested, my contact information is on my channel. You can reach out to me and I'd be happy to talk to you.
So I'm heading back over towards where I was. Um, I'm getting the shade over here. So what else on pending sales? So for like pending sales for Point Beach. Let me stop for a second here. So that was about the same, 158, 159. Uh, new listings, 250. So there's more listings than last year, obviously, 229. And um, inventory of homes for sale. Now this is a big jump, 359 versus 257. So there's, like I said, there's definitely more homes on the market right now. Um, and the smart sellers are, you know, taking a look and seeing where homes are selling for in the past month, not six months ago, and adjusting their price accordingly. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, shoot me a shoot me a message. I respond to everybody. So, can you build a pool in your backyard in that area? Um, no, I don't think you can put a pool in these. They have the community pool, which I'm walking past right now. But I don't. I, to my knowledge, I've never seen a pool in one of these. But listen, there's a lot of homes here, and uh, you know, I've been doing this for ten years. So, uh, I've I've sold a few homes in this neighborhood, but. I don't know if you can put a pool here. It's something that I could certainly find out for you by looking at the uh, HOA rules. And it obviously would have to be approved by them, but I don't think they allow that. So, good question though. It's worth uh, investigating. So this is the second clubhouse. I think they have another one. It says Palm Beach Leisureville. And they got their office there. They have some craft centers in here. Arts and crafts. Let's see. Let's see if there's any other questions. Can you build a pool? We'll reach out. Just make sure I'm not missing any of you guys. Um, okay. So, but uh, I'm going to be doing more and more videos of 55 and older to show you all those. But I'm also going to do the other, like I said, I'm, I'm going to do more videos of everything. I've been working on a lot of things. I've been a little busy on and off. And I've also uh, been trying to spend more time with the family. Doing the videos takes a lot of time. But uh, I do want to go up to like Jupiter, to Cuesta, showing you guys the, some of the places in the north part of Palm Beach County. I've only done like one video about Jupiter. And then there's like a little town of Tequesta up there, and there's Juno Beach. And then I want to go north to like Stewart. Stewart's a cool place. And then even show you all some of the new construction up in Fort Pierce and, uh, and Port St. Lucie. Um, it is less expensive to live up there. Uh, and it's, it's, it's growing a lot, it doesn't have as much to do like you know this West Palm Beach and Boynton Beach and Boca this whole area all these cities run into one another there's a lot to do but it's still nice up there and they have beautiful beaches over on Hutchinson Island so I will be heading up that way and we can look at some of the neighborhoods up there just gonna be trying to expand a lot more for y'all and do more live streams so if you guys haven't subscribed subscribe and click the bell because then you get notified whenever I go live, and I'm gonna be doing lots of these live streams. It's just simple, fun way for me to show you the neighborhood, no music, not a bunch of, listen, I love making the videos, but when I'm just trying to get y'all some facts about a neighborhood that you might consider moving to, this is about as easy as it gets. Now, if I can get into a house, that's even better. And I'm trying to do that. It's just difficult because the agent has to allow other agents to advertise the house, and the homeowners have to allow a stranger to film in their house. Not everyone's comfortable doing that. All right, I'm going to sit in the shade here for a second. Ah, oh, perfect. The breeze and everything. What about a boat in your yard? <laughs> what a name, man. What about a boat in the yard? Well, that's, you know, that's got to be a non-HOA community, buddy. A boat, a trailer, a commercial vehicle, anything of the nature anything of those type that has you know if you have a boat a trailer a van with your company on it like a plumber or gc you're not going to get away with that in a homeowner association here in south florida you're gonna to have to find a neighborhood with no hoa and there are a lot of them there's plenty of them i have friends that live in them and there's some really nice ones it's just uh you got to look and make sure you know where you're moving because hoas they just won't allow it and people try to sneak in and 
and then they forget to take their magnets off or something and then they get a, a neighbor that says hey he's got a commercial vehicle and now you're getting a fine and now you got to go pay to store your van somewhere you don't want to do that so um let me see let me flip this over because i got my cheat sheet with some numbers on this for you guys the wind's making it very difficult so all right so for condos just give you all an idea on condos the median price median sales price on a condo is uh, 302,500 right now as of July and it was 225,000 and the average sales price is 304,956 and it was 239,601 um, as far as the percentage of list price that sellers are getting on condos they were getting 97.7% and this year they're getting 98.5%. Um, days, medium time to contract. It was 35 days, now it's about 16 days. They're going, under, so they're going under, you know, contract in about 16 days on average. And as far as inventory, month supply, 1.5 now, and last year it was 1.3, so it went up a little bit. So, so you can see the condos, which a lot of people switched to because they couldn't afford single family homes, got real competitive here. Um, condos, townhomes, villas, stuff like that, whether 55 and older or not 55 and older. So um, just, uh, you know, didn't matter. There's a lot of people switched over to that. But, you know, I think I've read some numbers out before. In June, 31% of all homeowners in Palm Beach County lowered their price. So it is changing. It, it is, it's affecting Florida. It's going to, you know, it's affecting other parts of the country more. So if you're thinking about moving here, just stay in touch with me. Um, you can keep an eye on the market. You know, you can, you know, a lot of a lot of people say if you see a house, that's a good deal. You know, and if you can afford it, you buy it because if you finance it, there's a good chance you'll be able to, you know, refinance later on down the road when the interest rates drop. Um, but there's no guarantee they'll drop. So that is something that uh, that you would, you know, have to. Uh, it's, that's something that could happen so but you know a lot of people say if you get into a house now and the interest rate's a little high hopefully that interest rate will come back down we'll see we'll see what happens with that but um like i said it's florida still a pretty strong market and people are still getting uh good money for the properties but this is a cool little place this uh, 55 and older place this is leisureville and turn this back around see if there's any other questions nope okay around so let's come back up here they got the swimming pool and uh it's pretty quiet. Now, there are some communities that are a lot more active. Um, I think a lot of the properties in here are second homes or winter homes. So a lot of people are up north and won't be down. This place is really packed in the winter. Um, but there are some more communities down here and I'll be trying to show you those that are definitely more active and uh, have pickleball and the a clubhouse and all sorts of amenities and um, I've got one I'm gonna be putting on the market it's actually all ages but so that's not a 55 no that one's all ages there's a section that's all ages but my sections not but um, it has a country club membership so but pretty cool place you know you can find some pretty nice homes in here and like I said it is pretty active lots of when the season is here, they have a lot going on. So, um, anyway, guys, I uh, I did a new video, um, did a new trailer video that's going to go on. You'll see a new video coming up with. Uh, it's only if you land on my channel for the first time, but I got a new video that's going to go up. I did a new intro talking about the the channel, and I appreciate everyone who responded to uh, my questions the other day about what kind of content to deliver. I'll be trying to give you guys more content and stuff. Um, about uh, you know what's going on in the market. Let me see, I've got a couple questions coming in. Uh, Cheryl, hey Paul, what is the story with homeowners insurance in Florida? <laughs> Cheryl, that's like a whole other video, but, um, and, and common. He wants to know how far is that from the beach? Okay, so where we're at right now, and that breeze I'm feeling, is because we're close to the beach. So, probably five miles, where I'm pointing is due east, five miles that way is probably the beach so it's really close you just basically go out this road you make a few turns you go over Woolbright's the closest road which is just that way to the south over Woolbright Road it takes you down 
to A1A, and then you make a left or right and pick a beach that you want to go to. Uh, Cheryl, the insurance in Florida, well, it's still a pain in the you know what. Um, you know, these roofs, I don't believe, are covered from the HOA. So these homeowners have to, I believe, change the roofs, I think. It says maintenance on the outside, but it does say roof maintenance. So when it says what the MLA, the, um, sorry, when it says what the M, the uh, HOA, maintenance, ah, I can't talk, my mouth's dry. Then they take care of common ground, the lawn, they take care of a lot of stuff. And they say maintenance, which means I think they paint and they paint the roof, but they don't repair the roof, if I'm correct, about, about this community. I can look into it. So people that are buying homes with roofs that are older than 10 years are having a hard time getting an insurance policy. And that's crazy because 10 years is, in my book, still a good roof. But they're just having problems because of so much fraud, because so many people are claiming that their roofs were damaged by a hurricane when we have not had a real hurricane hit South Florida since 2005. I mean, we had some storms that came through a couple years ago, but nothing major. But 2005 is when Wilma hit, and that was real bad. So, um, turn this back around. So yeah, so insurance right now is it's 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 pretty pretty tough to you know. So it's one thing you want to make sure if you're working with me or any realtor in the house you're looking at, you want to know how old the roof is, and you want to make sure that talk to an insurance agent and get some ideas of you know. Am I even going to be able to get a policy for this uh, with the roof? And they're going to still want you to do an inspection and give them what they call wind mitigation, a four-port report. Um, it's, a, it's a full report from a home inspection. But, I mean, if it's like a 20-year-old roof, you know, I mean, if you do, it's going to be probably through, like, Citizens, which is a state pool, and it's going to be real expensive. So um, the insurance, yeah, the insurance is the insurance issue is bad. Yes, yeah. Is this area near Ocean Ridge? Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, Cheryl, it's close to Ocean Ridge. So, like I said, if you went this way about five miles and you hit A1A, that's Ocean Ridge. And then you either make a left or right because Ocean Ridge and the homes there have a private beach. So you have to go down to past Ocean Boulevard and then you can go to Boynton has a, a public beach. Or you can go south to Del Rey, just before Del Rey, and go to one that's one of my favorite beaches, um, Gulfstream Beach. And it's got l not very much parking. Um, and it goes quick, but it's a really nice beach. So, what else? Um, yeah, the insurance is uh, the insurance is just a big pain. It's making it hard for us realtors and and for buyers and everybody, homeowners. It's just a it's just a real it's a pain. So, um, anyway, um, so if you guys got any other questions, if not, I'm gonna hop in the car and get the AC going. So I appreciate everyone who came on and watched. Like I said, I will be uh, doing this. So if you click that bell and get notified, then you can see where I'm popping up. And it's not just going to be neighborhoods. We're getting into the part of the year where all the events will start. All the festivals, all the art shows, um, a lot of outdoor activities. And if I'm going to you know, be down in Del Rey or Jupiter somewhere, I'm going to pop out my camera and turn it on and... We're going to start showing you guys some of the cool, fun events that take place here. And as we get into the holidays, it's going to be really cool. Lots of fun stuff to see. So, um, And I'm still working on other videos, of course, showing you things about South Florida. So I'll always be doing those videos. Um, I got a new one for a neighborhood. I'm doing my pedaling with Paul again, where I got on my bike and I ride through neighborhoods and talk about home prices and uh, talk about the amenities and like what's close by. Um, you know, for convenience stores. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to show y'all, like, if you were to look down here and buy, and you saw a neighborhood and you liked it, and you're like me, and you, you, you got a family, or even if you don't have a family, whatever, but you're like, hey, where do I go to the dry cleaner? Where do I go shopping? Where are these things? So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. So um, we're going to winter. We are going into winter hibernation here. Yeah. Where, where are your wave runner? <laughs> uh, I'm going to get a wave runner one day I, I i hope to get a wave runner i had one in the past so i'll get one again one day but uh had to get rid of it so had to get rid of the wave runner had kids <laughs> i know i should have kept it i had it for a while but then where we moved i couldn't have a trailer so there you go right didn't want to deal with it storing it was too expensive so we just sold it but uh i'll get one eventually again um, I love being out on the water, so uh, gonna get a jet ski. And being that I have a teenager now, it'd be pretty fun to get out there. So, um, 
but all right guys hey i'm gonna go grab a cold beer because it's hot out and um i've uh, been walking around here and the mouse is a little dry and it's saturday so i hope you guys are enjoying a cold frosty or whatever it is you enjoy on saturday and uh be sure to check out that new trailer that i'm going to be put on my channel talking about the channel to me you'll see the video and then it will just be for people who come to the channel for the first time and uh I'll be trying to get out a new video on Tuesday as well. So, all right, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Um, I answer questions. You can Zoom me. I have a Zoom. You, you can actually set up a calendar with me. There's a link. You can click on it. We can set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call so I can actually talk to you in private about real estate and moving here and what your plans are. Use those things. Um, I'm here for you. Um, my goal is to help you guys find a place here in South Florida. This market will change. Um, Florida is always a destination. People are going to be here. Like Cheryl said, it's going to be getting cold up in the northeast real soon, and you're going to see me down here walking around in a flower shirt, beautiful 70-degree weather. Y'all are going to be freezing. I'm not trying to rub it in. Just telling you the truth. So, all right. As always, guys, when you're around South Florida in the Palm Beaches, get out and enjoy paradise. I'll talk to you next time. Now I have to take the glasses off to see.